Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life from New Zealand. So a fun day uh, is ahead for you of New Zealand and I'm leaving you with kind of a cliffhanger, but be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because I have a poll for you. I want, I want you to kind of chime in on what you think is going to happen. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Good morning. Welcome to Freedom Camping New Zealand. I'm just outside of Cromwell, New Zealand. I'm only like not even an hour from uh, Queenstown. And I ended up here last night after checking out a couple other spots. And this was pretty crowded. They just left. There were probably seven or eight rigs here and you'll see it's not that big. Oh wow, they're all gone. You're only allowed to camp here one night and it is free. I'm going to go inside because it's windy, but let me show you around. So I'll go inside. Go inside my cozy little camper van. And, uh, ah, it's better, it's cold this morning. Uh, so this is freedom camping in New Zealand. Not quite my idea of freedom camping. So what freedom camping seems to mean in New Zealand is that it's free, but you have to go to designated spots. So this is the second one in this area, which is a pretty popular crowded area. The population of New Zealand is only like 5 million. And uh, there's a lot of very rural areas. So that like the town of Wanaka that I stopped in yesterday was very crowded. And Queenstown, I'm sure, is going to be very crowded. So the cities have a lot of people and a lot of visitors. And so what freedom camping means is that it's free. But you can only camp in designated areas. And from what I have seen so far, those are pretty small designated areas. And it literally looks like a parking lot. I'll show you one later. I should have taken pictures on my travels yesterday, but I was, it was towards the end of the day and I just wanted to get to camp and be done. I've been traveling till 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, which is, you know me, that's not like what I like to do, but I've been doing a lot of sightseeing along the way. So literally, like sometimes they look like parking lots. They're camper vans, you know, rows of camper vans just parked next to each other. And so, uh, you know, if it's freedom and that it's free, and that you can go where they tell you to go. <laughs> I don't know if it's a different idea of freedom than I have. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, uh, what am I? Today is Thursday. I've been here two and a half weeks and I've been in the camper van five or six days and I'm kind of ready to get back into my RV at this point and just, you know, go do some real freedom camping, some real boondocking. And, uh, you know, I've been sightseeing a lot. I've been around a lot of people. It's been fun and it's an amazing, but uh, kind of, you know, you get to that point where it's like, okay, I'm ready to be home now. But I have a lot more to see still. So I'm going to Queenstown today. I still don't know if I'm going to bungee jump or not. We shall see. Um, but I guess I should do something with my hair. I wasn't going <laughs> to was just going to leave it, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm making another thing of coffee. So the camper van came with a, I'm going to get one of these. The camper van came with its own little French press. So I don't know what I was thinking when I bought my French press, I bought a giant one. And so then I feel like I'm forced to drink like five cups of co like a ton of coffee. Um, and then I talk really fast, but I like this little one. I can basically just make a cup at a time. And I still make two cups, so, but I'm on vacation, so I'm drinking more coffee. But yeah, this is my camper van. It's real, it's nice, it's comfortable. It's comfortable, but I do miss my rig at this point. But this is a beautiful spot. I'll take you out and show you around. This was all packed in here last night. Actually, there was a group of like five camper vans all in a big block here yesterday. But not a bad place to sleep. At least the sand flies weren't bad here. Partly probably because it was so windy and cold, but the sand flies have been brutal. So mosquitoes don't really bother me too much. Fleas don't really bother me too much, but I'm getting eaten alive by the sand flies. Sand flies like me. <laughs> Beautiful, huh?
used to take the road to Sister Sing. Imagine all the words becoming real. Together we'll be free. It's not just you and me. There's a lot of fruit stands along here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I don't really need much, but. Fresh fruit, why not? Webb's fruit, just outside of Cromwell. Apricots, wow, they're big. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. I wish I could eat it all. Okay, so I got mixed and match. I got, oh, what did I get? There we go. Got two apricots, two nectarines, and a peach. And it's Friday. Well, yeah, I have a few more days here in New Zealand, so I'll eat it. There's the orchards right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, I just pulled into a scenic bridge reserve and there just so happens to be bungee jumping here. Let's go check it out. Oh my God, I'm gonna be able to see somebody do it. Oh my God, this is awesome. doesn't look so bad. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't look so bad, but I don't know. Should I do it? It's crazy. Jumping off a bridge with a rubber band tied to my ankle. <laughs> or actually the waist because the water is too high. So they're not doing it from the ankle for safety reasons, but I don't know. I'm gonna go to the top. From above, take it, I'll lock from here, this one, let go. The green one, like your green one. Okay, it looks super scary from up here. <laughs> it doesn't look so scary from down below. Okay, what do you think? Am I gonna jump? Or am I not gonna jump? I'll let you decide. <laughs> I'll let you wait and see. You might just get your hand stamp. That's it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what do you guys think? Did I jump? I'm going to put a poll question up here. On most devices, you should be able to see a little dot, I think, with an exclamation point in it, and it might say poll, but up here in the uh, in the corner, I think if you're looking at it, it's the right-hand corner, you should see a something that comes up on the screen that says take the poll. So I want to know what you think. Number one, I'm going to put three different questions, I think. Number one, did I... Well, no, I guess, did I jump or didn't I jump? Or maybe the third. Do you think, how many of you think I got up there, paid, got to the platform, and chickened out at the last minute? So I think I'll put three options. Yes, I jumped. No, I didn't jump. Uh, 
you know, didn't even think about jumping or the third option, do you think maybe I got up there and chickened out and didn't jump? So what do you guys think? Did I jump or didn't I jump? So stay tuned. The next video, Sunday night, you will find out whether I jumped or not. And uh, New Zealand is coming to an end. And stay tuned because I have lots of cool stuff coming up after New Zealand, including... I'm going to remodel my rig. Yeah, I am going to tear out my dinette. I'm sick and tired of the layout in here. So stay tuned to see what I'm going to do in my rig to make it more comfortable to live in. And I have a couple of other things up my sleeve for you. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back in the United States in my RV, boondocking, all kinds of stuff pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Uh, I'm not going to get into Nomads in Need. I'll do another video about that later. But, uh, so did I jump or didn't I jump? Be sure to check up here. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be healthy, be free, and be kind. Mwah. I'll see you soon.